Hello, and in this screencast, what I'd like to show you is how to configure Apache ISIS's security module so that you can set up roles, users, uh, permissions, that sort of thing for any Apache ISIS application. So, the place to start is the isisaddons.org website, and you can see we have a list of modules, and the one we're going to be working on is the ISIS module security and you can read what we've how we've described this here a module for Apache ISIS for administering users roles permissions for providing Shira based authentication and or authorization so it's all up on github and um, there's a big old readme here I'm not going to go th into all that there's a whole bunch of screenshots in fact a UML class diagram too you can look at that at your leisure but I'm going to spin down to the bit going on for how to confu configure the application and the application I'm going to work with is just the simple app archetype uh, application that's generated from uh, by running the maven archetype command and you can see in my console here I've, I've run the command and in fact I've uh, imported this into my ID into IntelliJ so everything is all set up in terms of a simple application to set up for security so back onto um, onto the website, and the first thing we need to do is find the shiro shiro.ini file. I always say that the wrong way. I think you meant to say shiro, uh, and that this is the the bit of boilerplate to copy in place, copy in. So let me find my shiro.ini file and uh, paste this into the main. And uh, the other stuff here actually from the uh, archetype we don't need and what I'll just do is I'll just comment out that last line there as a reminder for the second half of the demo which we'll get on to so that's basically saying to uh, Shiro to use this new implementation of a realm the next thing that we need to do I'll skip over that come back to that later is to register the various services into ISIS's properties file so let's do that and that line there says go and find off the class path all services annotated with at domain service which is most of them but not all of them there's three here that we also must register explicitly and the reason that these are registered explicitly is because not every application is likely to want these to be set up um, one of them uh, is a an implementation of a password encryption service for the mechanism by which the passwords are encrypted. The me service allows the user to look up themselves, their own record, and that's obviously appearing in the user interface. And this last guy here I've highlighted is a policy, and you might want to change that particular policy. I'm not going to go into all the details, as I say, but it's all there on the README. So that sets up that configuration. So we've configured Shiro, we've configured isis.properties and the last thing we need to do is set up the class path. So there are two entries that we need to add in. So the first one, is that the right place? That's not the right place. That's the guy in my web app. Into the dependencies is the dependency on the module. Uh, all this stuff by the way is up on uh, Maven central repo. Uh, and the other dependency is this guy for jbcrypt which is the implementation library for that password encryption service and again that's uh, separate because we you might want to use a different implementation I think that's all IntelliJ is asking me to import the changes so we will let it do that and I think we should be good to go so let's run the application up And uh, just a reminder, this is running with its own database, but it's an, um, an in-memory database. So every time we restart the application, uh, we'll start afresh. But we should be good for the demo. So let's um, go to localhost 8080 wicket. And so if I were to log in, normally I, I would be able to log in with Sven and pass as my user. But because this has been now configured with the new realm, there is no such user. But there is a user called ISIS module security admin. The password again actually is pass. So this is automatically set up. And we can see we have a number of services available. 
so we could look at the roles there's a role here called admin one called fixtures well, you can look at it yourself um, if we look at the admin role we'll see that the admin user has access and the permissions here um, basically give us super user access to everything that we might need okay um, so I tried to log in as Sven and I wasn't allowed to so let's set up Sven as a new local user so Sven password pass uh, we're going to enable him we're going to give him access to the regular user role which means that he should be able to see the me service let's see what we see so in a Sven remember a second ago this didn't let us in whereas now we can get in and we can see that I can look at me me being Sven and there's certain things I can do here according to my permissions but not very much as you might imagine um, but we could change our password so let me change that from pass to uh, Sven S-V-E-N and uh, I guess you won't be able to tell that I've done this but um, anyway I'll, I'll do it for what it's worth Sven oops S-V-E-N type again S-V-E-N sign in and we're in with a different user okay let's so that's basically the um, starting point on this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the application and I want to show you a different way to configure the uh, the, the module uh, that was using what's called a local user where the user as the user's password is is basically managed encrypted in the database itself ultimately but what we also can do let me go to my readme is we can set up the realm the Shira realm to use what's called delegated um, realm so the the authentication can be delegated out to some other realm so this is what we do we're going to copy this line of code and we're going to paste this into our shira.ini file so that would go like that and the sum of the realm I'm going to use is our ini realm which is why I just kept that there as a reminder so the ini realm is of course this file here and so you can see that um, we've actually got some users in a sense already set up set up so these are if you like the delegated users the roles here don't apply anymore we're just looking at the password so I'm going to um, start again start the application again remember this is starting afresh because we're working with an in-memory database and so if I were to um, try to log on as Bob and pass well I'll show you what's going to happen it won't be quite perhaps obvious so let's uh, let's try this I'm going to log in as Bob and pass it's actually going to say I can't log in but there's a bit of a subtlety here so I can't log in seemingly but in fact this is what's really gone on if I list the users and we can see that uh, there is actually now an account that's been created for Bob but it's, and it's been created as a delegated account has no password because delegated accounts don't have passwords their, their password is managed by the delegate realm but its um, permissions uh, it, it's set to a status of disabled so if I as the super user here were to go and say let's enable Bob but you know what I'm going to not give him any roles just to enable him and I'm going to uh, log out and then log in as Bob this time we ought to be able to get in that is to say log in and we have no access to any um, anything at all because I have no roles but uh, I'm in let's go back as our super user and last thing I want to just very briefly show is setting up permissions so let's set up a new role for a simple app user um, a simple, I can use a simple object and related services, there you go, that was from a rehearsal I did a few minutes ago. So let's set up Bob as the user that can use this new role and let's, as the super user, we're going to declare and define what that allows this role to do, so we're going to allow the ability to change, that is to say invoke, edit, anything underneath dom.simple and I tell you what while we're here 
let's also looking at Bob's record there's the role we just set up let's also give him access to one of the predefined roles which was the regular user role okay by the way while I'm here notice that there's nothing to do with changing passwords anymore because this is a delegated account type so okay back in as Bob then one more time and with a tiny bit of luck I've not made any errors we can see I can now get at the me service and I can also do things with simple objects okay so that's all I want to show so uh, really all the setup is just here in the readme of the account you can see I just configured a bog standard simple app archetype there's hundreds upon hundreds of screenshots in here lots of words um, so please try it out and um, and enjoy thanks bye now